They've hounded us for centuries. What kind of strange beliefs? They believe they are seekers, the only rightful ones. They say we robbed their powers long ago, preventing them from ending the world. Ending the world? The only way to truly eradicate evil in their eyes, the world will be reborn a paradise. It's all nonsense. Why haven't the Seekers dealt with them? We have, many times. They simply reappear after a time like weeds. Nobody knows how. Cultists? Why am I not surprised? This explains why the Seekers might be here, but not the connection to Corypheus. A seeker. Did they torture him to death? The promises will pay for this. As the Seekers of Truth have proven resistant to the effects of Red Lyrium, the Elder One has seen fit to place them in your care. Reclaim your destiny, and know that the Elder One expects your devotion as repayment. Signed by Lord Samson, Commander of the Red Templars. Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? So Corypheus sold the Seekers to these cultists. And they leapt at the chance, of course. But this doesn't explain how he captured the Seekers in the first place, or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. The letter said Seekers were resistant to Red Lyrium. Our abilities grant us many gifts, but the resistance to Red Lyrium's corruption? That seems strange. Although it would explain why none have numbered among the Red Templars. And thus, Seekers would be useless to Corypheus. He would have no leash to hold us. We'll find them, Cassandra. I know we will. One way or another. <laughs>